When torquing the main studs on an engine in the upright position, it puts more strain on your back and on your shoulders. With this engine stand, you can roll the engine down to any angle to where you can put less strain on your shoulders and on your back. Now I'll show you a close-up of the controller and the switch for this engine stand. This engine stand has a potentiometer to vary speed from fast to slow. It also has a bi-directional switch to go in each direction when you rotate the engine stand. This box houses the controller that controls the motor. This cover covers the gear and the chain that drive the shaft that are mated to the engine plate that actually hold the engine. Now there's a few other key points that help when assembling an engine. When measuring bearing clearances for an engine, not only is it critical to have the up and down size of the bearing correct, but it's also important to know how round the actual bearing is. With the ability to rotate the engine stand at any angle, you can measure this accurately and correctly with having the engine stand at that angle. There's also one other point that makes this engine stand vital when assembling a motor. When putting pistons in the engine, it's quite easy when the motor is standing straight up. But every time you want to connect the connecting rod, you have to roll the motor around. With the electric engine stand, you can easily pick any angle that you want to put the connecting rod onto the motor. And then roll the motor back around to be set up and ready for your next piston. Another benefit with the electric engine stand is the fact that you can easily measure top dead center of your motor by having the gauge sit there and you have hands free.